Hello and welcome back to another smashing episode of Gnosis for Nonsense. Today we're going to talk about the 30th anniversary of the DNA bar in Brussels. As most of you know, I work at this bar called the DNA, which is a rock, punk, metal, new wave, blues bar located in the heart of Brussels. And a few regulars came up to me and said, Sebastian, if you don't make a video for the 30th anniversary of the DNA, we are going to shave your head. So I was like, okay, I'd like to keep my hair. So sure, I'll make a video about a concert bar that has been around for 30 years since 1983. And for the past 15 years, it has been a haven for underground bands to play. These bands come to the DNA to play music. End of story. Now, some people might disagree with my analysis, but for the past two to three years now, I've been watching MTV religiously because as Dr. Xavier would say, I was searching for hope. A blind hope that MTV would actually play music. Actual music. Now, if the DNA had a TV channel, all you would see are these bands playing music without the level of corruption that you find in today's mainstream music media, which is very narrow-minded and only focuses on cost effectiveness. Places like the DNA are quite the opposite. They give underground bands, the underground music world, an extra stepping stone to be discovered, to be able to display the musical creation, the development and the evolution of music in today's world. About a year ago, I made a video titled The DNA Bar in Brussels. And in that video, I said, It's one of the greatest bars I've ever seen. And someone, I'm not going to say who, said to me, Greatest bar in the world, said by a bartender who works at the DNA. And after working there for a year, my faith in what I said has only increased. I am perfectly placed to analyze what is going on around me and given the chance to discover these bands who have never even heard of great bands and given the chance to meet great and interesting people who listen and fight for the dignity of music and actually make the effort to discover new styles, new bands and new music. They come to the DNA, a rock and roll bar which is celebrating its 30th anniversary on the 4th of October with bands known as Sons of Disaster who's releasing their new album Death and Destruction and an all-night DJ set with DJ Sossis aka Dot Massacre, Feast of Beats, Hellzo, Sick Tish and Fub XL who are going to shake the very foundations of music itself so in the end to the fact to the fact this building is one of the hearts of the defense of the dignity of music itself i can only say that the dna bar is godlike mhm mm just as i suspected heavy metal so listeners, will I see you on the 4th of October at the DNA Bar in Brussels? Can you actually say that you make the effort to discover new styles, new bands, and new forms of music? And if you want to see where the DNA is to get information about its location, address, and when the event is happening, you can find them in the description below with links to the videos and photos that you saw in this video. So listeners, thank you for listening. So until next time, give it all to the goal.
Yeah! 